Welcome back, True Believers Elite Legend. Back at you guys with another figure from the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse Stilt Man Build a Figure Wave. And now we're taking a look at the third figure from the Marvel Legends Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse Stilt Man Build a Figure Wave. Here we see Peter B. Parker. As you can see in the box, he comes with two additional sets of hands, a tasty beverage, an additional head sculpt, along with the head for the stilt man. Taking a look at the back of the box, we can see that we've already reviewed Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy. After Peter B. Parker, we have three more to go, and then we will build stilt man. In an alternate universe, Peter Parker is no longer a heroic underdog with the proportional strength of a spider. He is actually a slavish, middle-aged has-been. That His one claim to fame is being the cousin of 90s R&B recording artist John B. Here we see Peter B. Parker on the 360 display. The standout for me on this figure is the trench coat, <laughs> actually. There you see the pinless elbow, double-jointed elbow. You can see he has mix-matched shoes some sweatpants, his spider suit tucked into those sweatpants, there's the front of the jacket, his four additional hands, the extra head sculpt, and the stilt man build-a-figure head. And let's not forget about that frosty beverage. When I mess around with my figures, I like to incorporate accessories from other particular figures. I like to add in some different figure lines. So here we see um, Jules enjoying Peter Parker's frosty beverage. It's always good to share because it ain't no fun if a homie can't have none when it comes to having those snacks. Now, here we see Peter B. Parker. He has Peter Parker's slice of pizza and there's nothing to hold in his hand now that Samuel Jackson has that frosty beverage. So I'm going to give Peter a fat burger or more appropriately, a big kahuna burger. And you can see it slides right in. Perfect. Fun fact, Peter B. Parker in an alternate universe is actually a member of a boy band. Let's take a look at the articulation. Head back and forward. Can crunch that far forward. Doesn't go back very much because the jacket isn't pliable. You ever hear the old saying, can't have your cake and eat it too? Well, why the hell should you have a cake if you can't eat it? Or why would you want a cake if you can't eat it? See the double-jointed elbows, no pins. I don't know what the big deal is about that, but some people like it. Double-jointed knees. I had to heat this up beforehand, and it's already tightening on me. You have the thigh rotation, ankle rotation, very spindly ankle at that. He has the ankle rocker there. Both sides have a rocker. Different shoes, that's why I pointed it out. And just you see the diaphragm, waist rotation, but again, hindered by this jacket, which is a nice sculpted jacket. Um, I just wish it was more pliable. But what you going to do? Here we see Peter B. Parker with the other two figures that I reviewed from this line. We see Miles Morales on the left, Gwen Stacy on the right, as well as Spider-Ham. Here we see Peter B. Parker with his alternate head, along with Miles and Gwen with their masked heads. And we see Spider-Ham unmasked. Forgot to show you guys the comic book version of Gwen Stacy in my last video. So here you see her from the Absorbing Man wave. I do have an additional head. And I tried it. This head does not fit on the peg for the Into the Spider-Verse Gwen Stacy. Only reason I'm not taking this out of the box is because this figure actually belongs to my producer and she'd probably kill me. Here we see Peter B. Parker with a few other versions of Peter Parker from Earth 616. Here we see Peter B. Parker channeling his inner J.R. Ryder with a between the legs windmill jam. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the continued support. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about Peter B. Parker? Personally, I feel they made him look like a punk in the movies. However, the figure is decent. Wish it had a little bit more articulation by making that jacket a little bit more pliable. Overall, not a bad figure. But let me know what your thoughts are. 
Are you excited about the Stiltman Build-A-Figure? There's only three more figures to go, and we're building that bad boy. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to those videos. Also, if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, drop a like, and until next time, make mine Marvel.